That and the rest of the day's news in Wales, HTV News is coming next. Tonight at 10.30, a profile of warrior Owain Glyndwr in Ten Gods. This is HTV, ITV1 in Wales. TV News with Steve Taylor and Lucy Cohen. Good evening to you. The main stories tonight. Race Relations Chief resigns over misconduct allegations. Too much pollution, so we'll lower the cleanup target. Plus, a week after Mabel's vampire killer is jailed, have the community's scars begun to heal? And follow that tent. Why I Setford campers are getting the wind up. Good evening. Mashuk Ali had the job of improving Welsh race relations. The Assembly is considering plans to allow the air in Port Talbot to be more polluted than anywhere else in Wales or England. And plans to bury a newly unearthed medieval boat under tons of concrete have caused uproar in Newport. And that's it from us for this week. But our late update this evening is at 20 past 11 with Justina Simpson. Uh, but for tonight, from Lucy and from me, thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. HTV Weather. Sponsored by Oakwood. Hello there. Well, things seem to be going from bad to worse on the weather front, don't they? A very slow-moving area of low pressure nor dip into the first part of tonight, but it will start to dry out, clearing really from the south up. The winds, though, are going to continue to be quite brisk, and that's really going to knock the edge slightly off these mild temperatures. We're not waking up start to Saturday again in uh, most places. These showers back to haunt us, but I don't think they're going to be anywhere near as heavy as we've had today. Now, however, if you do fancy going out and about in the rain, then here's a suggestion, why not try popping along to Wales's first ever Festival of Mud? That's being held at the National Wetland Centre in Llanelli throughout the weekend. And the afternoon up in North Wales, especially around Cardigan Bay, uh, I think you are first in the firing line, I'm afraid. Looking ahead to Sunday then, and western parts of the country really look as if they're in for a good soaking as that rain edges eastwards, although I think it is going to pass quite quickly. And as I said earlier, by Monday, we have a warm and humid air from the south overnight to leave a dull start to the weekend. That's it from me. I'll see you later. Bye bye. HTV weather. Come rain or shine, Oakwood's fine.